Shar Margolis, Shar Communications Incorporated, and Shar Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Shar Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Shar Vision. <clears throat> Hey everybody, it's the holiday season. It's 2017. Happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy, what's the other one? Qantas. Okay, so happy, happy. And okay, when I was a kid, I always wanted a Christmas tree, but we're Jewish, so my parents wouldn't let me have one. So my mother... <laughs> my mother made me a Hanukkah bush <laughs> on the dining room table. It was this very sad looking, like silver, tiny little tree like this. It wasn't even a. It wasn't even like a, a pine tree. It was just like sticks coming out. It looked like sad. It was sad. And then she put dreidels on it. I said, "Mommy, everybody at school has a Christmas tree. I want a Christmas tree." Although I, I was in a Jewish neighborhood, so <clears throat> anyway. Excuse me. So we sang, I was in the choir, we sang Christmas carols. And so I love the festivities of the holiday season. I love the decorations. I love the energy that it brings. And today I have a wonderful who, friend, Brad Schmidt, who, well, it's Bradley Schmidt. You like to go by Bradley, right? Bradley, yeah. That's my, okay. my mother calls me Bradley. Okay, so <laughs> since his mother calls you Bradley. And Bradley, I had no idea you did so many amazing things. He's already done, well, a lot of trees, but we're taping this ahead of time, full disclosure. But um, you have done uh, Reba McIntyre. Yeah, I just came back from Nashville a couple of weeks ago and was involved in the uh, CMA Awards, and Reba McIntyre partnered up with one of the biggest companies I'm working with. It's Balsam Hill, and I'm their Christmas guy. And so they fly me all over to all these different uh, celebrities and country western That's artists. That's amazing. I did her whole home. We did it for her new Christmas <laughs> album, which she recorded five years ago. And so she did it all in her living room. That so was you a want, fun installation. You want to hear a funny story? So yeah. I, I had, love her. I had my hair done yesterday. Uh-huh. And my hairdresser does a lot of big, big stars. So I said, well, yeah, I'm having my friend Bradley on, and he does decorations, and he's uh -huh. amazing. Yeah. And I said, he, I think he just did Reba McIntyre's. He goes, oh, really? How is Reba? I said, she I don't know. Fantastic. I don't know her. He does her hair, too. <laughs> oh, that is so ironic. <clears throat> How crazy is that? <clears throat> she is a warm, wonderful human being. What I love the most is I love Nashville, which I haven't been. Nashville's oh. a beautiful city. They love Christmas. The people there are warm, and all her, all her managers and assistants were great. And so, so also Steven Spielberg? I've worked with him twice on a couple different events, Christmas and a Dolce Gabbana runway show that I embellished the whole backyard in holiday decor. I When okay. Naomi Campbell was on the runway with them. That was I years ago, no early 2000s. I had no idea you did this in Denzel Washington? Yeah, Denzel Washington, when he lived in Sherman Oaks, which I'm sure he still does, <laughs> his neighbor lady hired me, and I for two days I was building all these beautiful white and gold or arrangements. Wow. And his wife came down, I was in shock, and Denzel came down, they picked it all up. And then they invited me, and I installed the whole thing. That's incredible. Three years later, that was I kept doing it. It was meant to be. They're wonderful people. You're still incredible. doing it. I uh, haven't done it for a while, but I. Um, it's been a few years. They moved, and so sometimes when people move, they change and shift gears. I so. mean, you you don't brag. I've known Bradley for a long time, and I had no idea that you worked in South America, Venezuela, Brazil, Mexico. Oh, and wow. You tra I know you travel to there. Asia I all the time. <laughs> I do travel to Asia about six times a year. I have an exporting holiday decor company there. I'm shipping out containers of products for special e-commerce companies. And um, I'm learning my Mandarin, but um, I miss my f other half. You know, it's a hard track. It's 17 hours. But His other half is Freddie, and I've known Freddie for 20 years. Freddie, Freddie. <laughs> Has it been 20 years? Uh -huh. Freddie's in, 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 this, in the house. We're celebrating six years. So oh, that's on, so in a nice. Week, in a week. Oh, congratulations, yeah. you guys. <laughs> 
So, yeah, but there's been a lot of great things that have built this kind of, like, life of holiday decor. And so now that I'm, like, 48, now people are calling me Father Christmas, knowing that I have the more sophisticated and knowledge of the holiday decor all around. Wait so. a second. <laughs> a recent display of Brad's work in the Dominican Republic led to a partnership with Oscar de la Renta's design team? That's correct. Yeah, I was down there for two weeks in Dominican. I had no <laughs> idea you were such a superstar. Well, my just, goodness. It just keeping um, keeping that on my resume has been good for me, but I had so many great experiences down there. They're such warm people, and they love the holidays, especially I down still have that little Republic. ornament you gave me hanging Your in my... Your Buddha. I do. It, that Buddha is bu- amazing. It's, it's very magical. It's Buddha Sewer full. Scalp. It, it hangs from your ceiling. It's, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's you will there. never get another one that was a one of a kind. Really? You and Stuart were the lucky ones. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love the. I think of you all the time because it's hanging in <clears throat> my in my apartment. Yeah, that's a great wow. piece. Wow. So okay, so when we have Christmas and we do decorations, it changes the energy of our homes. It does. Yes, it does. So, I, and I'm all about energy, and I always mm-hmm. say we live in a physical world and we live in an energetic world. Right. So, and in the energetic world, it's more about feelings and. And feeling people's energy and feelings and, and attitudes. And so what do you find when, 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 you, when you place a Christmas tree somewhere? Mm-hmm. How do you know where to put it? Well, when I walk in a room, of course, I feel the energy of the family. I know what the family wants, but I can find that right corner or that right spot where I think that's the focal point, And that's where all eyes are leading when they walk in the room, whether they have a mantle and a fireplace or the tree next to it you have to secure that tree in that right area sometimes in the middle of the room but mostly in a corner and do you feel like it's an intuitive thing it is like an energetic intuitive thing because you're very intuitive being a pisces i am but i know when my when my clients or customers ask me where should the tree go i can almost in five seconds i can feel it it's got to go there i get a lot of clients that want it in the center of a room and it just doesn't feel right i feel it needs to anchor a wall because it's blocking the 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 chi the energy. Yes, yeah, correct. And so when I get, and then we have mantles on garlands on mantles, so you're balancing that room. It's all about balance, having bowls of ornaments and here and there, festivity. I think festive everything things. to keep us happy is about balance. It our is. bodies, our mind, our soul, our spirit. You're right. That's Everything's right. about balance. Yes. And so when you come into a room, you balance the room. Balance the room with the colors and the ornaments and the tree, the ribbons. The colors. And then when you do someone's Christmas tree, do they ask you to decorate their house as well? I do. I start moving things around and books around and get a little you carried do? away. And they're like, oh, God, I never thought about that. Oh, can you put that ginger jar? And they just let me go for it. And I start digging around in their other things. You have, you know, your and they keep vases it. and they keep it. Do they you charge it. them extra? Well, I charge them my day rate or my <laughs> extra day rate. My crew gets to stay. But they're very happy with like all the like extra interior design things that I get to do. I play. I play in these beautiful homes, and I've had some great ones to play in. Okay, so are there rules about like which rooms you should decorate for the holidays or not decorate, or how does that work? I would say the family room is always the most important because that's where all the children and family members come together to open the gifts, whether that be for any holiday. And then sometimes we'll have a a home like in Santa Barbara, I do where they have their parlor. And I have one customer, one client, she walked in the room and she says, don't put that tree next to my, those drapes. They cost more than my parents' first house. And I said, <laughs> okay. You know, because of the sap. And I'm like, and her name's <laughs> Ursula. So I say, like, Ursula, you know. She just, it was like, okay, she's the cartoon character. I said, okay, Ursula, we'll put, won't put the tree next to the drapes. It costs more than your parents' first house. <laughs> that was the line I'll never forget. And so we never put that, you know, we keep that far away from the drapes. But uh, it's you a true still, story. Are you still working with Ursula? We are. Freddie and I are going back up there for two days and a couple of weeks. You are. Ursula's known me for 20 years. She's on her second husband, but she still uses me. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah. Like, she's another cast of characters in my life. Like, <laughs> like husbands can be replaced, but not her decorator. Not her decorator. Boy, and then her de- her ex husband fights over me, and he drives. He calls me, says, "I want you to come to my house tonight, and you can moonlight over there, and I'll pay you more." I'm like, "Oh, brother, here we go." So there's always do like they, the Beverly wait, wait, Hills wait. battle war. So do they know? Do each of them know that you're coming? Only the children know because the children are not can tell on them. Oh, okay, gosh, but the, was there, but, but, the, yeah, but she, they're still feuding. The they're husband, still feuding. And the ex husband and ex wife. Yes, I have three or four couples that feud over me. That's mm-hmm. hilarious. It happens every year, so I have to be very careful. Well, because you're so one you're so giving. <laughs> you're you're just a giving person. You're always. I love so, to give, and I want to make you, sure everybody has a That's just your personality. You're you. so kind, and you're always like that. 
My yeah. mother raised me right. I can have my little Spitfire moments, but that, I put all that kindness and that energy into my decor, and I stay very focused when I get in the house. And I'm people. A lot of you really come. You've really come into your own. And I just do my thing, and they're like, "Wow!" This, and I make the right suggestions, and I'm like, "We're going to do this." We're okay, do so that. what other rooms should be decorated? You can use upstairs in the foyer, like as you go up a grand entrance. There's might be an entryway. We put a tree on a second level. That's just a visual from the street. And in fact, I just did that two days ago. My and my customers like. Oh, I'm not used to it. Maybe we should bring it downstairs. I go, no, you just get another tree. Do you decorate the outside as well? We do. We have guys that come and hang up all the beautiful waterproof outdoor. Oh wait, decor. we've got some photos here. Let's take a let's take a while and look at these photos. So you these are some so of the you stores do the outside do. as well? Do the outside and interior and then showrooms and stores, retail stores. Do you are all you throughout the like United do you like overdo it and when you pull the switch it like blows the power? Well, I usually try to stay away from electricity if I uh, yeah, I have you guys. Got, but that's we, dangerous. Right? We have overload. I'm always What's this? Preparing. What are we seeing? <clears throat> We're seeing, let's see, that We're is seeing... at a retail store called Aldi Comb, and that is a nine-foot tree on a black and white check background. Mm -hmm. And what I'm calling that is a Cirque, it's just like a Cirque holiday theme. It's got purples and lavenders and reds and oranges and greens in it. It's just And do really colors whimsical. make a difference? Colors totally make a difference. It cheers you <laughs> up. You walk in, you could have the worst shopping day ever, and all of a sudden you come into this magical room of colors, and it's like, you light up. The kids are always excited, but then the adults are lighting up. So yeah, it's because color makes family. a difference for people. There's a lot more color we're using this year instead and, of just certain. And even yeah. when we balance our chakras, each yeah. chakra resonates with a different color and a musical note. It so builds that. It builds that. You know that whole melatonin up and gets the whole thing going. That the, the balance. Balance and gets everybody's. You know. What's that? Excited. That is a big display in another retail store with a giant. It's a nine-foot soldier next to all shades of gold tree. It's a huge Where display. is that? That's out here in the Valley, Aldi Comb. They're the biggest artificial Christmas tree company in the West West Los Angeles area. Really? In the West of Chicago. They have about 60,000 square foot. That's I, a racket, that yeah. business. I've been working with them for 23 years. I set up in August, July, and September. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where did oh, you go, Tony? What's that? that oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's still, that's the that's Stevie What's, Nicks tree. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> Back up one second. That's, that, that, look well, don't at that. go so fast, Tony. So check out okay, that top hat. Okay, there it hat. is. There, yeah, okay. that, there's our drummer boy. Yeah. There's your, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Okay, now, Stevie Nicks. Nicks. Gee, I wonder why uh, there's a Stevie Nicks tree. This tree, I have to because tell you, was a big hit. Freddie is foot. obsessed with Stevie Nicks. I'm just telling you. Yeah. His his other half is obsessed with Stevie Nicks, and we love Stevie Nicks, This was actually. a 12 or 15-foot flock tree with a lot of crystals and then black flock hat with like uh -huh. a Stevie Nicks rock and roll twist and musical notes and had an accent of silver. It sold. Whoa. Everything was stripped off the tree. It was fantastic. Wow. It was the number one tree for last year for 2016 in the store. Where was this? That was at the Aldecom again. That's one of my biggest showcases in Los Angeles. But then I have tons of stuff with the magazines with Balsam Hill. And, uh, so you do Frankie. magazines too? I'm doing all the covers for Balsam Hill starting in May. We That's shot tons incredible. Of tons and tons. There's a few pictures that I sent with the cover with uh, Fall. Let's Reese see. Let's stuff. see. the. Well, well, we'll have to get to that because I think we're going in a row. What's yeah. that? Now, that's another retail store with a giant 60-inch wreath, red wreath, all reds and golds, rich reds and golds, real traditional Christmas. Another that, cheery That looks thing. traditional. It looks it's, like Santa's going to pop yeah, in any moment. It's kind of a Biltmore look. Yeah, kind of that Biltmore estate, a very, you know, state. Is, is there such a thing as over-decorating? Not in my world. Yeah. I love it. Well, okay. Okay, there is a limit. The new millenniums, they're like, oh, simple, 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 you know, drop in, drop in, drop in. But for me, it's like my customers, they want over the top. They expect me to come in and make magic. And uh -huh. the magic resonates happiness and peace. And when they're satisfied, I'm satisfied. So I just try to go into their flow and really try to get that for them. And I like to do the over the top look. You do like that. There's Reba's... Uh, Wait, which is Reva? Right there. There's Reva. Her, that's Reva McIntyre. Wait, wait, go back. There's her okay. living room. That's Take her mantle. Take a minute. Don't go. F Let's see. Can you zoom that in? That's her mantle. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. Wait, Tony. Oh, Look at wow. All the so we placed the candles, and we I draped the garland, draped all the ornaments and ribbon, and did a nice accent. Those are all battery That's a beautiful candles. home. Is that like a country home? It is. It's, it's kind of like a um, transitional um it's beautiful. Chateau type feeling home. It's beautiful. And all the. Little and where is this in, in, this uh, is in Nashville? In Nashville. You know? So she put, we wow. placed her baby. Did she piano. sing for you? She didn't. I didn't get that. I had to take a flight before she started. She started rehearsing, but she sat at her baby piano in the middle of the room. And the album she, she, I created five years ago, 
they decided to release, and so she recreated her music videos in that living room, at least four of her songs. Really? It was really magical. And then now they're having the Nashville Country Christmas this weekend. Oh, yeah. my goodness. And that's all sponsored with Balsam Hill, which is one of my biggest uh, companies I'm working with. Balsam so Hill. They're my... Now I know about Balsam Hill. What's that? Now, those those are look like trees. Christmas trees. Yeah, there are a couple of trees in a shroom that I did in Atlanta, what? and they're very pretty. One's got like cerulean blue. I just want you to know it's better than Home Depot. Well, this is <laughs> nothing compared. <to, laughs> well, not only that, my trees are like 10 and 12 foot, but these are like, I mean. And even I, it's better than Lowe's, just so uh, you know. I just go crazy with the ribbon and the ornaments, and the, we, I call them tree smackers, the large ornaments that are so big. and just What are those things? What are the red things? Those are beautiful, big, five-inch boughs of ribbon that I just really... That's like the, my ribbon work is my specialty. It's just really moving that I ribbon all through. I didn't realize there was so much in, intricate things you had to do Yeah, and my this. trees are. are. And I, now my customers are kind of spoiled. They're like, wait a minute, where's the ribbon? Where's the, I, where's the, I yeah. once <laughs> found... Uh, he once told me that he needed pine cones, so I went all around the property and collected a bunch of pine cones and... Which Save I still from, have in front of me. I do? put them out. I spray painted some oh. gold. I put them in my tree. They're in a bowl. They're by our fireplace. Oh, and I also have some I'm in a bowl. I'm so happy. We have them spread all over. Yeah, no, I'm so bad. happy you have them. We you use them every those. year. Yes, those are the sharp Okay, so cones. if you don't want to use a wreath for decorating your front door, yes. what other options would you have for adorning the front door? You can use what I call a festoon. And what that basically is is taking a six-foot wreath or a five-foot wreath. Do we have any wreaths in there? I'm listening. Well, you would bend it in half, so it become a, like a half a wreath, half of uh, like a long three foot piece of garland, and then put the bow at the top, and then just let all the ornaments kind of spill down. Oh, that sounds it's so lovely. It's very different, and if you have double doors and you have one and two, it really is nice. Something different. Is there any like significance about a wreath? Why do people put wreaths on their doors? Well, going back to the days of Williamsburg. Okay, Virginia, yeah. that was a big deal, and a wreath signified you built a wreath upon your family. So if you were in the cotton business or you're picking apples, that's why you see wreaths with apples and pineapples, and it always signified the family. So the wreath really started back in Williamsburg, Virginia. That was wow. where the real Christmas wreath I thought it wreath started is. in England. I don't know why I thought that. Well, in the United States. Oh, it was Virginia. Virginia. But for England, they've always, a wreath symbolizes the family. Pretty. But there's a lot more meaning in Virginia. About what, the, that. So there's your bows, your fancy, famous bows. That's a champagne, uh, pleather bow wow. with all kinds of gold That's and chocolate. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I would think that in feng shui, which mm -hmm. I'm not an expert in, but I would think that would make people feel welcome to open the door. Yeah. That's the whole thing about it. it is welcome and to warm and warm up. And, you know. and to feel invited. There's inviting. so many styles of wreaths you can do. You can do simple and heavy, and most of my clients are like, well, I want it over the top. I want to outdo my neighbors, you know, especially in this town. <laughs> oh, yeah. they're competitive. Very competitive, yeah. What, where more? In Beverly Hidden Hills? Hidden Hills. Hidden Hills. Hidden Hills has become my new Beverly Hills. Although I'm really? doing some homes in Homely Hills and Bel Air, I think those people have all gone and built Homely these. Hills. People don't oh, know about, I mean, these very are very expensive. Expensive, over the top yeah, places. Yeah, beautiful places. Yeah, over the top. Yeah, we'll be there next week. We have a big. That's where. Um, what's her name? The used to live. Um, C Candy Spelling used to live. That's right. And she had that bowling alley in her house. Oh yeah. That's crazy. I've been in her new apartment. I did some spring work with her with Stuart. But. With Candy Spelling. Yeah. yeah. The penthouse. Funny, I should fun mention that. I had no idea that you did that. That was for her. She's a show. nice lady. She's very nice. Very particular. She's very clean. Very beautiful home place. Very lovely. Is she a good bowler? I don't know. I didn't have a chance to bowl. I know that I had to be careful with all the Lalique and Crystal and all the vases that she gave What's me. What's that table? Where is that? Is the food good? That's a fall setting that I did down at the uh, Soco Center in uh, Laguna, uh, Costa Mesa. And I basically did a fall centerpiece and set up a table like in 10 minutes to show how you can fill your table with bountiful you know, decor using fresh pumpkins and LED battery. Before. You should work at Williams Sonoma. They need you. That's a very Williams Sonoma. Like, thank you. That was a function that uh, was was from the Soco. They asked me to come down and bring some of my own product and display it. <coughs> Do a little seminar <coughs> for them. Did they have real food? Oh, there's Reba McIntyre. So that's the advertisement that uh, Balsam Hill was giving away tickets for sweepstakes for people to to win the stay at uh, for the um, National Christmas. Uh, that must be country. such a wonderful that's experience. That's happening this weekend. Yeah, that's, that's got to be great. I wish I could be there. She's really on fire, and she's really been a big part of all this Christmas this year. Isn't that great? 
Oh, okay. that's just so exciting. And who? what's that? Well, this is what I would call my very nutcracker whimsy Christmas look. And this is in a retail store in San Francisco. I've worked with them for years. And every year they do these over-the-top giant nutcrackers, candy colors, very whimsical. So I set the whole thing in a different window. That was a window we blacked it out and we just... Spotlit. Where is this? Thing. In what city? Up in San Francisco in the Bay Area. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Did you, have you ever done anything in New York? I've done some things in New York. I have a girlfriend that's working with Bergdorf Goodman. I'm hoping to connect oh, with her. Oh, that would be but really. Freddie and I will be there in a couple of weeks to check out the windows, but I hope I get to just <gasps> get to peek into one of them. Oh, you're going to go to New York during the holidays. There's nothing better than that. We have a good little project. And there. and you're going to see, you have a project there? Yeah. It's so exciting. <laughs> and and. And you're going to see the Rockefeller Center. We're going to do all tree. that. Take Fred skating. I oh, uh, I've done that. I've 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 I ice even skated. done that on Rockefeller. I've ice skated in the Rockefeller Center. I ice skated with Stuart. Yeah, I love it. As long as I do, I just got to make sure I don't hurt myself because I got more work to yeah. do. Yeah. Oh of the yeah, year. you got to be yeah. careful. <laughs> but you know, there's all these fancy skaters that like to come in and show yeah. off in the middle <laughs> and do their circles and pirouettes and stuff yeah, i just like it's as so long beautiful. as i'm still on the on, on the blades i'm good pershing square in downtown la is a lot of fun too if you take the time it's where's really that kind of, right in downtown it's right by ninth i believe it's uh between is fifth. it ice skating yeah let's ice. go it's really fun let's go freddie let's go let's go it'll yeah. be so much fun as long as we don't fall on our butts we're good I can do it. I grew up or... skating. I'm from Michigan. I'm a Michigan yeah. girl. We love to ice skate. We used to ice skate on the too. lakes. <clears throat> yeah. Didn't you ice skate on the lakes? Yes, I did. We did. We Me too. We were I nervous, to... but we ice skated. I, <laughs> I, I once um, filled the backyard with ice and made one in my backyard. Oh, my God. So you just took the hose out. Yeah, I just did the hose in the middle of the winter. I don't know. Hours. My parents it probably had a fit, but I did 30 it. 30 below, and there's a yeah. star out there getting that hose before it freezes. Yeah. It was so much fun. Is that a different tree? That's a different tree. That's a really fun tree. That was in um, a really beautiful home. This woman wanted all white, nice, and she had these gorgeous four-foot reindeer. And that was a whole scene, a winter scene, and she had just bought that home. And uh, they would use so, the white leather. We always theme it out according to my – I listen to what they want, and we get the components, we buy the product, and then we just go How do people get a hold of you? It's all word of mouth now. I have my website, bradschmidtdesigns.com, and then people go to is the it, is, Did you have that under his name? I can't see that far. Yeah, a lot of people go to the different stores and locations, and just really word of mouth. And the 27 years I've been in this industry, and it's how spread early out. is too early to put up a tree? Uh, I would say I've had customers want it up October 1st. They're skipping over Halloween, which is fine. But I think when they, I don't mind the day after Halloween. I think that's about right. But yeah, then it's funny. A lot of people are just forgetting about Thanksgiving. Remember, folks, we're all going to sit at the table next week and give thanks. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm getting more jobs. Let me decorate the table, but there's a tree in the corner. Right. So my tradition with my mother is like, we decorate the house for Thanksgiving, then we do the tree on Thanksgiving Day. So I try not to rush them, but I definitely got to get, if I want the job, I got to get it up early. And then, and then we come back and do another tree. And then how soon do you take it down? When's a good time to take it down? First week of January, second week of January. So... And how do people pack prevent, everything up. like, fires and stuff? I mean, I don't – What? what's – Well, know? it's one of the safety things. You know, a lot of the fresh trees that we bring come from Santa Barbara. They're very safe. They're very fresh. We make sure they're watered. I do quite a few fresh trees, but we're also working with some of the best – Is there a botanical. tree forest? Are they real There's trees or fake trees? There's a whole nursery up there that's all beautiful. Up, and to, 18, up to 18 feet okay, tall. Okay, just so you know, Siri's been doing – Oh. Okay, <laughs> Siri, Siri has been doing my readings lately. Oh wow! As well, she's trying to get into the act. I'm turning you off, Siri. Okay, so go on. I'm sorry. So yeah, I didn't so know the there was a nursery Nurseries in Santa Barbara, and that's where they have some of the most beautiful trees that come down, you know, from Central California, and um, they bring them down in trucks and. They're put up, and they're make, they have people that come test them every week to make sure they're not drying out too quickly, and they have special procedures they do to inject the water and the sugar into them because they're being lit with Wait, wait, electrical. sugar. There's a sugar water syrup that they're injecting into the, the, the trunk to really keep that tree preserved, not a glycerin, a safe, you know, and that's a whole big company process. So what about people who really don't have somebody to – be a caretaker for their trees. Then what are they some? They should probably get a really great permanent artificial, botanically correct artificial tree. Right. And Balsam what about Hill or somewhere like that where it looks amazing? You can't tell. And what what about the lights though? How the lights are all pre lit. They're all on there. You can get that tree and you plug it in. It lasts for three years with the warranty. 
Why only three years? Well, some people leave them on every day for like three weeks or five oh. weeks or six weeks. And yeah. so you just have a guarantee that they're going to not burn out. So, yeah. People like them on timers, so they go off in the middle of the night and they go on in the morning at five in the morning. So, hmm. so We which, have archery what, on all night. You do? Yeah. <laughs> what does, does Kesha, their chihuahua, does she think it's an, an outdoor potty, an indoor potty? Oh, no, but she loves to sit there and model by it. She's so she cute. She does. She's, She's waiting so for her cute. stocking to be hung. Which we, we love Kesha. We That's do. Sonny's girlfriend, yeah. one of his girlfriends. Our little baby, yeah. It's Kesha. She's yeah. so, so sweet. Yeah. And so, But which is a safer tree to get? I would think these days I tend to go more towards, I mean, if you're in an apartment or you're in a condo or small space, get a beautiful artificial <clears> tree. <throat> the, today you can't tell. Get the centicles that go with it that <clears throat> smell like an evergreen, and you're safe, and it's easy to put away. The and fresh trees are beautiful. Maybe get a little fresh Charlie Brown tree for the kitchen. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, then you're getting the best of both worlds. But so, when you get in those big grand homes. So, so mostly the living room. Yep, living room and maybe something in the dining room. Did you room. ever put up a train? I once knew somebody who had a train that went all the way around the, the room. The whole living room? Yeah, the whole living room. Uh, uh, up, I up have on a nephew a show. who's done that. It's a big, they have to build out the whole thing. Yeah. I think that's really great. I love trains like that. My grandfather did that. Your yeah. grandfather did. Yeah. I wonder if I'm feeling him. Well, that's probably the reason I why won- I was a kid. I mean, the whole thing is my mom and dad didn't have a lot of money, but they always made our Christmas. I was always the first one to go down and see the magic of the stockings and the presents. And it didn't matter how many presents we just my mom had everything perfectly wrapped and it was like she made it so magical can i read for you sure i mean i don't know what i'm going to get cuz even though we we know each other and it's harder for me when i know someone to read for them but i was kind of feeling like why did i say the train maybe your grandpa's here maybe your grandma's train. here the grandpa so the i train. i don't know who this is but i'm getting somebody uh is there somebody that's in an m or a, was your grandmother an A or an M? Eunice. Don't say names. Okay. Oh, that's an, that's an EU. It's that's EU, not, yeah. no. Who's it, it, did she have a middle name or a last name that, that wasn't? There's nobody that starts with an M or an A, or is your mom or anyone living that is? There is. What, in, it, are they living? They, she is. Is it an M or an A? An A. Is it A-N? Is it spelled A-N or A with an M or L in it? Or just starts with A? Close. You're close. Is there an N in that name? There's an N in there. Is it Agnes? Or uh, I don't know, but it's A with an N in it. You're very close. Yeah, you're very close. Is it, but it's not A N, but it's A with an N in it. Right. Is there R in that name? Is it Arlene or Close? Arena? Arlena? I don't know the name. Arlen? Oh, you're very What is it? Irene. Irene. Who's that? My grandma's middle name. Is she living? She's still alive. She's 95. That's incredible. She's the artist it, of the family. Is it her husband? Yes. That we right. were talking about? Yeah, I Charlie. have a feeling well, he's... Well, my middle name, just don't, Charles. Don't say names. Okay. Just say yes or no. Yes, I yes. I feel like he's the one that, for some reason, when I said about the train, I think I felt like it was guided to me like that. I feel like... So that's Charlie. Yeah. Choo Choo Charlie. Yeah. Charlie. He's yeah. the one that built the train and built the whole thing. We set the tree up. I feel like, with. do you feel his energy with I you? Do. I at do. All the, all the, at the Christmas things, right? Totally. He right. is the one that set the presents for the whole family. He's showing me a, a J, and there's also an R or a B. Is there an R or B person? The B person. A male uh-huh. B with yeah. an R in it? Yes. B-R? Uh-huh. Not Bradley, but Bruce or Bruce. You're very it's close. It's BR. Okay. Very close. Brian? Yeah. Who's my brother. that? Your brother. Is Who, he living? Yes, he is. And he's very close to my brother, my grandfather, and they would build this set together. They did it together. Yeah. Okay. Got because getting the whole family he's structure. Showing, he's, he's, he's showing me, He's. I, I feel like he wants your brother to know that he still like is with him and connects with him in this way. And who else is a C or an S besides him? Besides your grandpa Charlie, is there another C or S? There's a, an S. A, a female or a male S? A male S. And that's a first name S uh-huh. with a T in it? Mm-hmm. Steve? Mm-hmm. Who's that? My uncle Steve. My aunt, my grandpa's uh, daughter's ex husband who passed away of cancer. I feel like he's here. 
He was also involved in all the big setting up of the Christmas and the family functions. We oh lost my him. Goodness. We lost my grandpa from cancer. And I feel like they're all here. That's wild. They really love the Christmas tradition. Is there a, was there a hereditary thing with the cancer? There was. Yeah, there was. And my are, and are my the aunt. other family people watching that? Are they watching? Are they getting tested? They the are. other we're people? All, my sister, everybody has been tested, and we're watching it. We've lost several people with cancer, both sides it of the wa- family. It wasn't colon cancer, was it? No, it was. What was it? It was my grandfather died of bone cancer. His bone mother cancer. died of breast cancer. Okay, so, but yeah. everybody's watching, like, making sure known, that yes. other people, like, they, they can nip things in the bud, yeah, right? Yeah, keeping a good eye on it, especially my brother, myself, my sister. Yeah. We, my sister's ch- youngest child had full-on testicular cancer, and when he survived, you're, her youngest. You're, you're kidding. A yeah, young child? Yeah, 17 years old. Yeah, I went through everything. Who's an N? An N or M? Hmm. Is there a middle name N or M, or is there a Michael or a Nick or M or N? N- there's a Nick. Who's Nick? Nick is a cousin of mine who died of cancer. Because he's here, too. Wow. Yeah, I feel like they're all gathering together. He died, and he died of a, um, it was a, just a spot on his back that he nicked off, and the next thing you know, was treatment for three Was months. it melanoma? It was melanoma, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, a lot of cancer, for so we're also cautious. It's been really... But it's so important to stay on top of it. And, totally. And women should get 3D mammograms. Yeah. That's really, I, really I important. In that. I think it's very important. Yeah, because it's that that caught something in my family for somebody, and it was really important. Um, and there's E L E L or E. Oh, you said there's Eunice, yeah. but is there anyone else that's an E or L or E L? No, I, I'm not hearing this right. I don't know, but I, the, wait, the, but there's somebody else in my head. So. How's your grandma? My grandma's good. She's very healthy for her age. I mean, she's 95 years and old. And she gets around? She, she gets around. Well, she's... Did she fall bedroom. recently? She did fall recently, and she's yeah, not walking I, your, anymore. Yeah, your grandpa's telling me that she they've got to keep an she eye on her walk. because she fell. And she was the one that created eggs, like Fabergé eggs, and made Christmas ornaments out of them. And that's for amazing. Years, for 47 years, she had Eunice's Egg Green Crystal oh, that's, Lake, Illinois. That's amazing. So, and that's why we. So German, your grandpa you know. wants everybody to know that he's waiting for her. Good. Like uh, not that she, him. not <laughs> that she's going anywhere. I mean, I don't play God with this. I don't so know ready everything. To go. Yeah, no, I hear it's good. It's but good. but he's he's waiting for her. And um, what's with the bells? Who, what what are the bells or the chimes? Oh, that's so wild because my grandfather would make beautiful chimes for the backyard, wind chimes. Wind chimes. Handmade, big, long pipes, like six, seven, eight pipes. On the He's roof. showing them to he me. He sold them. He bet We had them. Everybody had them in their backyard. Everybody had chimes. He's, <laughs> wind he's, chimes. He's wind showing chimes. them to me. Do you still long. have them? We, I, my mom has a couple sets, yes. They're beautiful. They're very dramatic. And I longer. have a feeling you're going to have one of them. Your mom's going to give you one. I'd love to one. get my hands on one, yeah. <laughs> I feel like your mom's going to give you one, and I feel like you're going to get a home. Are you talking about buying a home? We are. I am. Yes, Freddie and I are. That's our plan. There's a there's a home coming. I don't know. It's I not feel long I'm gonna, of, I want to get a home. I it's feel, not that far away, though. I feel like I you're going to have that. the chimes in in California, though, right? Yes. Now, I know this logically, but are you still thinking of Palm Springs? Yes. My neighbors. Yeah, and I want chimes in the backyard. Good, I'll have more people to take care of me in my old age. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's a there's a home, and that's so cool that your grandpa showed me the chimes. I miss my grandpa. It's been 24 years, and he did and I are very wear, close. Did he ever wear a uniform? He did. Yeah. He's showing me like a uniform. Was he in the army or the? He was in the army, and then he wore pants, jet shirt with a name tag and a hat. Yeah, Just he's like, showing and he worked me. Worked at a factory and he invented something very important, and he ended up um, passing away. He invented something important in in the factory. Yeah, he invented the first resin plastic jar that you would use for a urine sample. He used to use glass jars all the right, time. Right, right. He invented the first sterile plastic one with a plastic lip ever in the United States and he came up with the formula and then his business partner after he passed away they took all the money that that's bad karma well they didn't get their share of the my grandfather was a genius behind that sage, that, sage products and they 
doubt my grandfather was a genius behind this. Very creative, and he invented so many things, and he was really just always building. He's things. incredible, he but is. I feel like you're kind of a chip off the old block with him. I feel well, him like him and I were an the most energy, connected with the whole creativity creative coming from scratch and just thinking of things and always building and thinking. Yeah. Did, did you just delay a dentist appointment or a doctor appointment? I did. Freddie's laughing. Um, I did, yes, because of timing, and uh, yeah, I did. Just what a dentist appointment? No, it was or a doctor, doctor appointment. appointment. I have to reschedule it, yeah, because of my hectic schedule. He's okay. saying, "Don't neglect yourself." I shouldn't. I know that. I agree. Don't neglect yourself. Okay. And also, are you having some issue with reading? Are your eyes needing reading glasses now? Maybe, yeah, probably. Are you Are you having a hard time seeing, or what? Or uh, just no, starting? Just lately, yeah, just starting. I'm lately, but I'm going. We have eye appointments scheduled. <laughs> you do. Yeah, yeah, just no, starting. Definitely. I have to, yeah, do a dr driving Just test starting. Thing. Okay, yeah, just starting. Mm -hmm. Is that the late 40s thing, hitting 50? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I've had pretty good, for, you know, 2020 vision, but it's for, I'm far sighted. That means you can't, you can see far. I can see far, but, you know, the reading gets a little The reading gets yeah. harder. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Join the club. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have something red and white in your kitchen? Red and white. Well, I do. Or, What's red and white in your kitchen? Is it? Do you have that? I have this really amazing, beautiful German cast iron pot that you bake in that my mother gave me. is red and white. I just got it. You just got it. Yeah. He knows about that. Yeah, so are you going to make? Tradition. It's I've made something already. I love it. It's incredible. That's crazy. What? But it's a tradition to what? He's showing well, me the pot. Has did you? One. Did, we did, grew up with those. Did, did your grandpa have one? They must have had one because it's a. It's and like, it's a German what? You, it's like a stew pot, and you put everything in there. But it's like a crock pot. You throw it. In the oh, oven. it's a crock pot. And you but put you it throw in the, it in the oven. oven. You don't plug it in, and it bakes everything inside, and it's bright red. Yeah, white he's inside. he loves all that, and he loves oh, yeah, to eat. And, he yeah. loves to eat. Yeah, definitely. What's clover? Clover. You didn't. You didn't cook with clover. No, I liked clove, though. <laughs> you did. like clove. I made a big cooking disaster with clove. I put too much clove in a dish and nobody could eat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. That's and hilarious. That when I was young after home and stuff. And I feel like I feel like you're going to take a journey, like a trip to see your mother or your grandmother. Are you planning to I'm see gonna them? I'm going to see my grandmother, definitely. Yeah, I feel like you're going to go visit her. We're, I'm going to go see her during you know, that's Thursday, so nice. Thursday, Friday, or whatever. Yeah, that's so nice. Where is she? She's in Orange County. Oh, so she's not too far. No, she's not too far. But I definitely want to see her, and it'll be good to see her for the holidays. Yeah, and I go she, make she's, she's, he's, he's going to be there waiting for her when it's her time with flowers and candy, and he's a gentleman. He's going to, I don't know if he's going to be in his... I don't know. I don't know if it's his uniform or what. Like, but more like younger, like yeah. army uniform. He's or so something. tall and handsome. He was just such a gentleman. He was a good man. Good man. You yeah. can say one thing bad about him. Well, you have a. I'm sure you have a gorgeous family because <laughs> you're easy on the eyes. Thank you. Sean. You're so <laughs> sweet. Well, you're gorgeous yourself. Oh, thank <laughs> sunny, you. You're a little pretty yourself. Sunny. Well, thank you for letting me read for you. This oh, my love so much Char, fun. thank you. It was I love wonderful. you too, Bradley. I love it that I got to read for you because I never read we never for my get friends. The, we never get our time to do that, and I yeah, really appreciate it. Yeah, it's really it. a blessing. It meant a lot thank to you. me. Oh, it means a lot Happy to me. Happy Hanukkah. Merry You're Christmas. Just, <laughs> and th same to you and to everybody else at home, but... I just feel like things are going to just keep getting better and you're going to start making more and more money and you're going to start getting to do more and more things. Are you wanting to like do a book or a table I wanna book? I want to do a memoir and I want to do a it's book. A, a table, table book. book. And you yeah. know, it's funny that you said that. It's like I have to step back and think things are just happening so fast, but I'm embracing every moment. I can't always look perfect. I can't always be perfect. Just go with it and go with the flow. It's, and that's how I'm learning how to do yeah, this. Yeah, it's going to be. It's just a fast There's a lot coaster. of great things coming. That a lot of really positive. I'm blessed and I'm happy for it. All the yeah, change. Yeah, a lot of stuff. positive things coming. Good. Well, Sunny's fantastic. Sunny's giving mommy lots of kisses. That's anyway, good to hear. Thank good to hear. you. Thank you, Sean, for having you, me. Thank you. Thank you, Of guys. course. Okay, and how can people get a hold of you? Uh, you can check me out at my website, www.bradschmidtdesigns.com, and you can send me an email. You can go from there. You can uh, go to my – you'll see my website. Okay. You can contact me through my So there you go, guys. Um, well, it, the time went so fast. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And 
I'm grateful and thankful for everybody that watches Shar Vision. It means the world to me. And I, I wish everybody a safe holiday and, and, and a healthy, happy, successful new year. And I know this, the, this hasn't been an easy time for a lot of people, but know that my prayers are with all of you. God bless you. Take good care. And remember, intuition will take you places logic never could. All the best. Bye-bye.